Hey folks, welcome to this week's Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors. I'm with my good friend Justin May from UMD Bulldog Athletics. What's your title up there? Director of Sports Marketing. In charge of Amsoil, aren't you? I'm in charge of Amsoil, taking care of uh, all of our corporate sponsors and then uh, the big jig. So. Listen, today we ran up to Duluth. We're going to try the St. Louis River. We're going after the copies. The water temperature is just right. Maybe we'll get some bonus walleyes. Let's see what happens. We know we're going to find the crappie. Let's hope we can find some walleye. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Folks, if you want to bring your family up for a fantastic summer vacation near Deer River, Minnesota, one call to make, Rising Eagle Resort on Big Jesse Lake. Steve, you told me this lake is full of these giant bluegills, mm -hmm. walleye, yep. bass, Hell northern, yeah. crappies. Sauna. <laughs> awesome. If people want to get a hold of you, how can they do so? RisingEagleResort.com and phone number 1-800-444-0098. If you'd like to have your company, product, or service featured on Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors, give us a call, 218-389-6305, or log on to mnresortsales.com. We'll spend the day out on the lake, have some fun, and get your great television coverage. Hope to hear from you soon. We're booking for 2014 right now. Folks, if you're looking for a fantastic resort for your summer vacation with the family this year, one call to make, Gus's Place Resort, just outside of Deer River on beautiful Ball Club Lake. Cabins, RV park, inland marina, bait, ice cream for the kids, a beautiful game room. Gus, if people want to get a hold of you, how do they do it? Uh, you can call us direct 218-246-8520. Of course, we're on the internet and Facebook, gusesplaceresort.com. If you're coming to Upper Red Lake, there's one phone call to make. That's my friend John Halverson from Cookie's Guide Service. Cookie, you've been specializing in the walleyes, the giant northerns, and these crappies are still available out here. Whether it's hard water in one of his deluxe fish houses or in his 20-foot guide boat, he's going to be able to take care of you. How can people get a hold of you? Well, you can uh, look up our website. It's cookiesonupperredlake.com, or you can give me a call at 218-647-8391. It's a little guy. A little crappie? Yeah. Well, maybe they're moving in. It's not bad, though. No, we need them to move in. But they're getting a lot bigger than that up here. Go tell your big brother where we're at. Maybe they send him in first, all the big boys. Oh, that's a nice fish. Hopefully it's a crappie. It feels like a walleye. Probably want to grab the net here. Oh, he's peeling line too. Can you find a shorter net? If I look hard, I probably could. <laughs> now, don't knock him off like happened to me last week. This might be a nice walleye. Just get him to the boat. He's peeling line. That's a good thing. Whoa. Honestly, he's still down there. We definitely want to get him in the boat. Whoa, that's a big, big walleye. It's a nice walleye. Ready? Yep. 
Oh. Atta boy. Wow. Part of your problem is you got a net for a crappie. Wow. That is a nice wall. That is one of the bigger ones I've seen out of this river, period. Got him? I do. Nice catch. Holy cow, boys. That's why I couldn't get him in the boat. That was beautiful. St. Louis River. <clears throat> yeah, we'll measure this girl. Definitely a girl and she's going back, but. So we're down on the St. Louis River just outside Duluth. And we're actually fishing an old abandoned uh, ore dock. You know, coming in here across this bay, it's four feet, and as soon as you get about 50 yards out, it drops because they dredge it, obviously, for the big boats. We're fishing against the wall here. It's about 15 feet, and the wall is actually undercut, and we're here for crappies this morning. But this is kind of a bonus that this thing came through, obviously a big female. So we're going to get her back in the water, but we want to throw a tape measure on her anyway. I'm here with Justin May from UMD. Justin, people have no idea that they have this in their backyard, do they? Yeah, we're we're less than, <laughs> what, 20 feet off of uh, the shore right here? I mean, you could walk down here with a fishing pole. This is quality fish anywhere in the state. That's a beauty. I mean, look at the size of her. We'll throw a tape on her, quick. Twenty-six and a half. Wow. That's a nice fish. We gotta get her back in. Well, it wasn't what we were after, but it's fun. Let's go get some of them copies, come on. Copy. Almost a little bigger than the last one. He might work. We'll throw him in the live well. If we can get a bunch of them today, we'll get some nice fillets out of them. Somebody's got to be first, right? There we go. Right next to the wall. Nice another little crappie. Get up here. Very nice. Well, they've moved in. They're all like eight, nine inches. They're all the same That's school. Right. Be nice to see another big walleye though, wouldn't it? Another little one. Yeah, he's not a crappie. It was a great day up fishing with Kirk and Mary Peterson from Sleepy Hollow Resort, Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors. We loved it today. You got a lot to offer at the resort. Hey, I'll tell you, we got a beautiful lake, beautiful island lake. We've got eight full, fully modern cabins, 10 full hookup RV sites, game room, all kinds of activities for the kids, water trampoline, all kinds of toys. You can contact us at sleepyhollowresort.biz or at 218-897-5234. We're here with Nick Minardi from Viant Crane, based out of Superior, Wisconsin, Duluth, Minnesota. Good morning. Good Nick. morning. How are we doing today? Good, good. Tell us a little bit about Viant. How many cranes do you guys have? Viant Crane, uh, like you said, based out of Duluth, Superior. We have 34 cranes ranging from uh, 15 to 300 ton. Good, uh, which, good. Uh, and you guys go from where to where? All the way to Texas? Yep, we go from the north border of Canada all the way down to uh, the south border of the United States. Hey folks, 
Dallas here from Benetrends for Minnesota Resort Sales. Did you know that you could use your retirement savings such as a 401k or IRA to purchase a new business, tax deferred and penalty free? At Benetrends, we've helped thousands of entrepreneurs buy the business of their dreams using their retirement savings plan. So contact us today at Benetrends.com and start funding the business of your dreams. Folks, if you and your family have looked to own a resort or campground here in Minnesota, there's one call to make and that's the Minnesota Resort Sales. From Iowa all the way up to the Canadian border, we've got the state covered with six offices. Log on to mnresortsales.com, simply choose the area you want to be in and give us a call. And remember, you can use your 401k tax deferred and penalty free to buy a resort from Minnesota Resort Sales. this to be a copy boys huh that's got a little size to it here we are again found another pier st. Louis River oh it's a big channel cat <laughs> I'm gonna bring them around here for you it would have been a good size walleye Not big, but it's fun to catch. Watch those horns. Pretty looking fish, though. See him out of here. Those things get prehistoric huge, too, I think, in this river, you know? Yeah, well, growing up, we fished a spillway in Nebraska. Yeah? And uh, right on the wall where the breakwater, where the river came into the dam, we'd fish about 50 feet down, sit on these tables in the river. Yeah. Sit out there all night, sleep on the tables. But my dad's caught a couple 55, 65 pound channel cat. Were you there for those? Uh, when I was a kid, I was there for one that was bigger than me. <laughs> and I was not a small kid. That's cool. Not huge. A little crappy. They're starting to get bigger, Jay. But we got a long ways to go before they're we have to start keeping them sometime. Here we go, here we go. Nice copy. Come on up here. Oh. Well, he certainly was a hungry one. I hear him not paying attention to the bobbers long gone. It's a nice fish. Yeah. There's a lot of nice copies down here. And with this late spring we had this year, it's uh, it just barely spawned out, you know. About nine inches. Throw him with the rest. Here we go, here we go. That's a little better fish. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, nice copy. Get up here, boy. Another Sun nice came one. came out. Water is 65 degrees. St. Louis River, another 9, 10 incher. Those are nice, huh? Very nice. Oh, 
there you go. It's not very big. Ooh, nice crappie. That a boy. Decent sized fish. They're Thousand nice. bucks at the big jig right there. That would have done what? Thousand bucks, hundredth place, big jig. <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> big enough for the box, isn't he? Yes, sir. Very nice. You got that towel? Nice eight or nine incher. Oops, sorry. That's all right. There's fish here. Yep. Mine's coming up. How about that one? Might be a little bigger than the other ones we caught. Get up here, buddy. Oh. Nice little double there. About the same as all of them that we've had today. Mid-afternoon, maybe they're starting to move in. There's nothing wrong with these. Nothing wrong with catching them and having a little fun. Wait till you see the 12 inches, though. <laughs> little size, or what do you got? Oh, it's actually decent. You better get the net. It's not Ye big, but it's a little walleye. Ooh, that a boy. There you go. Oh, nice. That didn't take long once you got retied, huh? No, I told you all day I was trying to fight that jig. Got to be 15 inches, so we'll get the box or the trough out for him. <coughs> Almost 16. Atta boy. Well, now our copies will have some company. Nice little eater. Perfect eater. Atta boy. Ten more of those. You got it. We'll miss baseball for walleye. Eagles Nest Resort is a fun, fun spot. It's located on Fish Lake near Duluth, Minnesota. It has over a thousand feet of shoreline. It has five cabins. It has a bar, restaurant operation, and it has an RV park. There's a lot of room to grow, and there's a lot of cash flow with this resort. If that's what you're looking for, give me a call. My name is Dan Houle with Minnesota Resort Sales, and we sell resorts. If you're looking to book a family vacation, family reunion, or a fishing trip with your friends, there's one call to make, and that's the Back of the Moon Resort, just outside of Grand Rapids, Minnesota, on beautiful Bass Lake. The resort offers six cabins, everything from two to four bedrooms to accommodate large groups, and the fishing is fantastic. Dean, how can people get a hold of you? They can reach us at our website, backofthemoonresort.com, or our phone number, 218-326-8648. I'm here with uh, Captain Dave Dahl, and he runs the treble hook charter boat. We're going to be out on Lake Superior. You guys are running three boats out here. And... Yeah, we run the two boats with a team, my father and I, and his little brother, my uncle. He, he runs a boat, too, and we all work together so that if they want to book three boats, we can take multi-boat charter and a lot of people will do that in different businesses or large family get-togethers or just groups of friends. Folks if you're looking for a fantastic family getaway, family vacation, maybe a family reunion or just a fishing trip with the guys, North Shore Bay Resort on Island Lake near North Home Minnesota is going to be the place to go. They've got vintage log cabins that have all the updated amenities you're going to need. George, how can folks get a hold of you? 218-897-5907 or NorthShoreBay.com. Minnesota Resort Sales, right now we've got, we've got a seasonal RV park south of Duluth. We've got a year-round resort only 20 minutes south of Duluth. And then north of town, we've got one for sale year-round. I got a fish going here too. There we go. And then we actually have a very. How far north? Look at here, huh? We've got another one for sale. In the box, you think? Oh, yeah. We actually have another one for sale up the North Shore. It's a confidential listing, but it is a beautiful year-round operation so yeah the Duluth area is so unique you know how far north is it well 
we can't really disclose that. <laughs> as far as it's just out of town, we'll say uh, less than an hour. Perfect. So, yeah, there's so many resorts up and down this North Shore, hour north of town, go south of town. We've got all kinds of opportunities. And actually, Mille Lacs is not that far away either, and we've got a ton of them for sale there. Here's a baby mayfly that time of year. So, if you guys are ever looking for a resort in the Duluth area, mnresortsales.com, click on the resort tab. We've made our way up to Island Lake near North Home, and we've got a fantastic resort for sale up here on Island Lake, North Shore Bay Resort. I'm with George Selick, his wife Angie, Unfortunately, has a broken foot, broken foot yeah. so she couldn't join us walking around today, but um, we're going to show you this resort. It's a fantastic property that we've got for sale. Um, these guys have been here 13 years, you said, 13 right? 13 years. Came, we bought it in 2000. Came from? Northwest Indiana. All right. So you had a career prior to this. Yes, I did. I worked for Ford Motor Company for 30 years. And retired. And retired. And then you bought a resort. And bought a resort and started all over again. You were too young to retire yeah. officially anyway. Didn't want to work for somebody else. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So 13 years you've been here. What uh, improvement wise, what have you done? I mean, I've noticed the house. It's a phenomenal house. Yeah, we put out, we, we first bought the place. There was uh, a trailer there and uh, it was just a one bedroom trailer. So in 03, we had to redo our loan and we, the loan rates went way down. So we decided to put a house in. So 03, we put in a full size basement and it's got uh, Board concrete walls with a styrofoam basement and it's got a three bedroom manufacturer home up on top with a deck around and then uh, the ramp and stuff comes off the How top. How many bedrooms and baths? It's three bedrooms, two baths, both full baths. And we were in the basement, I mean, it's huge, entire size of the foundation. I, do you remember this? Uh, it's uh, 62 by 28. Is huge basement. Yeah, yeah. yeah storage and... Uh, storage and then we have the first third of it we use for our office as a walk-in office. It's all done in knotty pine and Northwoods look and stuff like it's that. It's awesome down yeah. there, and you got some clothing and yeah, we sell we sell some shirts and and uh, sh shirts and hats and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So as far as the resort property outside of the house, then major improvements. Major improvements. When we bought it, everything, all the internal parts were were shot. I mean, couches, you know, couches, <clears throat> tables, chairs, refrigerators, and so we replaced all of them. We've only got maybe one or two more stoves replaced, and that's it. Um, we've repainted the whole resort since we've been there, and here lately I've been touching up a little bit on stuff like that. But uh, we've bought a few more outboard motors. We bought uh, a different pontoon boats. We've got two pontoon boats with the resort now, and uh, basically maintenance and stuff. So yeah. they were in pretty good shape when we got a hold of them. So. This stain yeah. too, or the paint on all these log cabins, were uh, it looks recent. I yeah, mean, but it was done in the last five years. Yeah, and I'd, like I said, I've been touching up on a lot of it now, but. When we did it, it was like 29 gallons of paint going through their whole resort. Yeah. It was a summer project. This thing was a fixer-up, but I don't think it is anymore. No. Well, I mean, Hopefully. here's a question I ask a lot of owners, too, when they're getting ready to sell the resort. If you were 20 years younger and the place wasn't for sale, what would be the next project? Uh, probably maybe add on a little bit or maybe change a few cabins out. I've got one that's in a lower area. I'd like to move it somewhere else, but other than that, I like the way it was, way the place is really set up. So you mean physically move it to a different location? Yeah, just on well, the resort. In, on the resort. Yeah, just move it yeah. a little bit farther from where it's at. Yeah, gotcha. I like that. Pretty much, I like the way things are set up. It's they're easy to get to. There's enough room in between the cabins. People don't feel like they're crowded in, and it's just really set up pretty nice. I it's think. peaceful, and you yeah. guys have got some really, really good rates. I mean, your weekly rates are um, well for for up to six people. It's seven seventy for the week. Yeah. $135 a day or seven seventy for the week. So if you stay the whole week, you're actually getting a day and a half for free. Right. So, yeah. And this is a seasonal resort, so work hard about what, six, seven months a year? Well, we opened up for fishing opener, and this year wasn't too good because the fishing opener was pretty much gone. I, but, uh, you know, fishing opener, and we run all the way to the first week of deer season. Yeah. And I have deer hunters in. The whole place is full for the, for deer, for the first part of deer season. And... Uh, and I close up, and I'm semi-retired the rest of the year then. It is kind of nice to have the winters off. Yeah, it is. I, I do my ice fishing then. Atta boy. <laughs> I saw the wheelhouse over yep, in the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys stay tuned. Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors will be right back. Folks, if you're looking to come up to Mille Lacs with your family, you want to spend some quality time on the water and get on fish, there's one call to make. 
That's Tim Ajax, LakeMillacsGuideService.com. Tim, when people hire you, what can they expect? Uh, they can expect a, a, a full day on the water with all equipment supplied and uh, the opportunity to catch trophy fish and a lot of slots. Look Tim up on the, on the web, LakeMillacsGuideService.com, or the phone number quick. 320-224-1731. Hey Bulldog fans, Mike from Minnesota Resort Sales. Time for you to start thinking about the UMD Big Jig to benefit the student athletes. Come out and visit with all 400 athletes on February 9th at Pike Lake from noon to three. We have more than 50,000 in prizes and Subway's been a proud sponsor for the last 16 years. One of these could win you $1,000 for 100th place. See you on the ice. Folks, if you're looking for a fantastic resort for your summer vacation with the family this year, one call to make, Gus's Place Resort, just outside of Deer River on beautiful Ball Club Lake. Cabins, RV park, inland marina, bait, ice cream for the kids, a beautiful game room. Gus, if people want to get a hold of you, how do they do it? Uh, you can call us direct 218-246-8520. Of course, we're on the internet and Facebook, gusesplaceresort.com. If you and your family are going to visit Duluth this summer, there's one call to make if you want to do some high-end guiding on Lake Superior or the St. Louis River. That's Charlie Nelson's from Nelson's Guide Service. That's right. You can get a hold of me at 218-628-1681 or look me up on the internet at www.stlouisriverguide.com. We'll see you on the water. This is not a copy, so why don't you grab the net here real quick. Oh, it's another nice walleye. Hey, hey. Look at there that. There you go. Whoa. It's starting to get a little more windy out here. Sure is. Well, that's a good way to end the day, too, I think. It's a nice fish. We're going to measure, measure him up and see if he's going in the box with the rest of them. So, Excellent. Thanks for having me out here. Fans, make sure you check, log on to umdbulldogs.com to check, on who, check out who's playing in the neighborhood this weekend. Thanks for watching Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors. We're going to see you next week.